I was always drawn to Africa. It's a continent which is uh, so endearing, uh, so rich in so many ways, uh, because of its people, because of its cultures, uh, because of its colors, its, its resources uh, also. Uh, but it's a continent which has not been in a position to take advantage of the globalization of the past um, 30 years. And it's a shame because Africa has so much uh, potential. And it's also a continent, I think, to which we owe, and when I say we, I'm thinking the Western world, uh, we owe a debt uh, because it's a, it's a region which has suffered at the hand of the Western world for, for, for so many years, for, for several uh, centuries. And therefore, when I launched FARO, the hedge fund uh, group, in 2000, I promised to myself that if one day I was in a position uh, to launch a foundation uh, to be able to promote economic development in Africa, uh, I would do it. So it is a little bit our DNA uh, to be a philanthropic organization but run with private sector uh, uh, practices. And I think it's, it sets us apart as, as a foundation. We love education at Faro Foundation. And this is because once, you, once someone has, has received an education, no one can take it away from them. I like to repeat that, but I think it's so uh, true. You'll be educated forever and you will take that asset and you will make it grow. It will be with you forever. So we discovered that uh, in our early years at the foundation and we decided to make a big push on education. This has led us to, uh, to open a whole uh, array of, of schools from kindergartens uh, to uh, boarding schools and uh, even uh, vocational training centers where we are uh, training uh, uh, electricians, uh, uh, painters and, and, and others to gain a life skill that uh, may uh, provide them with, with employment, help them with employment later on. Simultaneously that we were building up our portfolio of, of schools, we did move into uh, water, uh, agriculture and health. And this is because um, if you think about health to start with, health and education are two indispensable services that one needs to, to be able to have a life which offers the the hope of a, of a better future. And in fact, when you ask diaspora members of Africa why they are hesitant to go back to Africa, this is what they say. The educational system is not good enough for my kids and the health system also for my, for my old age. So those two pillars are kind of obvious. Water, because in a few of the countries where we operate, water is the number one issue with climate change uh, accelerating uh, without water uh, th there's death uh, all over in, in these countries. And then agriculture because as, uh, as is well known it's a crucial component of, of the economy of, of all African countries and as also is now well documented Africa could feed pretty much the rest of the world. So it makes a lot of sense for anyone who wants to help Africa to be involved in the agriculture sector. The Faro Foundation is about economic development. We have chosen uh, to and we want to continue to focus on economic development because we believe that it is the best way to, to alleviate eventually uh, uh, poverty. If you take the example of, of China, China has pulled 500 million people in the past 20 years out of poverty and how did they do that? by boosting, by developing the economy as much as they could. And I think that the greatest success is that. So because we are about that, we focus very much on job creations. And what creates jobs in a country? It is the private sector. This is why we decided a few years uh, back to launch Faro Ventures, whereby we start uh, companies that compete in the private sector. And uh, these uh, companies are are supposed to compete head to head with the private sector. They're not supp supposed to be subsidized by us. And for us, it's the best way to create jobs. We want them to create thousands uh, and, and tens of thousands of jobs. It has been our model to, and, and our choice to not, not 
to seek external uh, donors uh, up until now. At Faro Foundation, because we are a bit less constrained by this, these staff donors who may leave you if you screw up a program, we can afford to try things that others uh, would not dare uh, uh, trying. And this has been one of the main benefits of uh, having only one uh, donor so far. In the future though, uh, this will probably change. First, because we want to have partners. It's good to have uh, partners, not only because you share the, the cost of the programs that you uh, roll out and implement, but also because you benefit from the expertise, the experience of others who are very good in, in their respective areas. There will always be more to do in terms of economic development in Africa. And the foundation will continue to need the hedge fund by its, its side. In terms of um, areas of focus, uh, and, and sectors of focus. Uh, I would like the foundation to be eventually in West Africa. That's the next big uh, regional uh, development for us. And in terms of sectors, uh, I think we'll, we'll continue to, to be relatively concentrated because I think it's better to be, to be good and to have an impact in, in a few areas, i.e. A, a bigger impact in few uh, areas rather than to have a little bit of an impact in, in many different uh, uh, regions and, and areas. And Faro uh, uh, Ventures, uh, our uh, for-profit arm, will be the main growth uh, uh, engine for the foundation in, in the next uh, 10 years.